Hello fellow YouTubers, Google Plus followers, and everybody else. This is the review of Cam Kicks. Cam Kicks has sent me a product to review, and we're going to open it up and see what it is. Now, in this review, I'm going to be doing it a little bit differently. I'm going to express how I feel and what I see at this given time. Amazon.com Packaging Yes, it's got a little rip. Can't complain about Amazon on that. That's the United States Postal Service. The product opens up very easy. Doesn't have a lot of glue to hold it on. Amazon could put a little tape around this. Now this can be a reusable envelope. The product on the table an invoice slip, very small font to read. Packaging, decent. Amazon always does a good job of packaging. A nice large K, premium bobbler grip for GoPro, thumb screw and wrist strap included. I do not see anywhere of instructions on the front or included. On the back has information about the bobble showing you it's open you could put medication money personal stuff inside and the scuba diver holding it straight out using it floating if it's upside down natural buoyancy facing upward do you want to test out the new cam kicks products for next to nothing join our vip testing team now at cam kicks K -A -C -A -M, AIX.com forward slash VIP. Cam Kicks is on Facebook and I'm most sure they're on Twitter as well. Sliding the product open, removing the product in hand, nice grip, strong. They have the metal nut, water and metal may not mix, may rust. A little Vaseline on the inside of the screw, the nut, silicone spray would do a great job for protection. We know to untwist the bottom. It has two O-rings. Inside is your thumb screw and your strap. We know money could fit inside. The very first thing I want to see is a GoPro battery. Will it fit? Not at all. It just misses. If this was a half a millimeter diameter larger, you would have extra battery life. This is a external battery it just about slides in there. I don't want to pound it in there, but let me tell you. With the cable, coming out the top a little bit, plugging in, you got hours of battery life. That's something that I thought I'll have on the table to show you. The thumb screw, again, is plastic. It's very bright and shiny. This should uh, fade away in due time. The GoPro, you can see the difference in the thumb screw. One is smooth, and the other one's uh, got a little bit of an hourglass to it. Putting on the camera, there should be one way putting it on and not two ways. And most of the time when I put on things, the thumb screw should be to the left. Sliding this on, you can see I'm having just a little difficulty. It's snug, it's not loose, and that is good. Putting the thumb screw on, some people find it very easy to put on. I just got to make sure I match up my holes and get it on there. I like to put my finger behind the thumb screw so I don't 
the thumb nut so I don't lose the thumb nut in case I put too much force. I don't want to make it too tight. It goes all the way forward. It goes all the way back. It stops about there. And it stops about there. I'm not sure somebody's going to ask me a question. If I put it on the right hand side, will it make a difference? Yes, it would. And the reason why I say that is you're going to have a lot less movement. So let's get this on there. Give it a little tightness. There's your forward. There's your back. That's it. You can't go any further. It hits the back door. Now for the water test. That's as close as you're going to see me ever get my GoPro to water. Where's my GoPro? Not here. Sorry guys, my GoPro's out there and that's as close as I get it to water. Now just to show you what I have on the table, it's a two dollar monopole. You can introduce this to water and you can throw this away, but it won't float. It's a lot smaller when it's compact because it extends. This doesn't extend. This is from X-Shot. This is the original product that came out. It's not waterproof. This is Inkos. It's carbon fiber, plastic, whatever you want to call it. You can get this wet put it under water but you have to dry parts off it won't rust and will it float? I'm not sure but at least for ten dollars you got yourself a nice pole and this is what I use most of my time I love this pole love it a lot and this is from Smartry and this extends to 40 inches it's not waterproof you can get it wet you must dry it off but if the insides get wet it may start to rust. There are always different products with different needs and that's why I show you different types of poles. Now I have a waterproof case and this is from another company and this is their pole. It's a little shorter having the strap on the bottom let me show you how to put that strap on loop it through, pull the loop, and there you have it. On this product, it wraps around the thumb screw. It also allows you to take the bottom out. It's cheaper. This has got the better grip. It's just as strong as this, but not the cover. The cover is really uh, inexpensive. And there is a rubber seal on the bottom one rubber seal. Now, I'm going to show you guys, hey, will that battery fit? Yeah. That battery will fit in there nice and comfortable. And let me tell you, that modification right there, once again, a little hole in it on the top, come out, you got yourself five hours of battery life. That's something that you want to do. I'm going to have trouble getting the battery out. Yeah, give me a couple more seconds so I'll get the battery out. Now, I had a little rubber band that held it in. And the good thing about this one is it will fit the GoPro battery. And that's the upside of this one. So no matter which product you're looking for of a waterproof one, this is definitely the one to get. It's got the great grip, a great feel. For $29.99, $30 at retail, you're saving $14 and change. For $15.99, the Cam Kicks products at Amazon is up for sale. It's definitely a product to have in your pocket and it is a nice looking one indeed. Place it on, again, it's very simple to do. You put the bolt in, each person is a little bit different getting those bolts on, and there you have it. Beautiful product. 
It should float this way as they state. If it goes in the water, it's going to float up. And I will uh, show you how it fits in the water. Say, I did my water test. I can't put it upside down, but there it is. It does want to float. It just about wants to float. So it's not going to sink. All right? So that proves the uh, theory that it works in the water. Now, you can see it going up and down. There you have it. The GoPro product tested in water. Allow this thing to dry. Come back a little later. I'm going to say thank you very much for viewing. Have a great day getting your Cam Kicks products. Thanks, Cam Kicks team. You guys rock. Check out the YouTube video. Check out Amazon.com. Enjoy, everybody.